Well, Andrew, we are talking about that bitter cold. I walked out the door today and was like, oh, wow, OK, I could have used another layer. <laughs> and no snow for now, right, Andrew? That's right. For today, we're snow free. Sunday's a different story. And of course, early next week, an even bigger snowstorm is pending. But let's talk about today, shall we? And let's talk about sports. In addition to high school football being played in downtown Detroit, professional basketball is being played. Afternoon temperatures only in the upper 20s. And then we fall into the mid 20s outside of Ford Field and outside of LCA. But with partly to mostly cloudy skies developing later on this evening. Hey, we're looking at some sunshine out of the deal later on this afternoon, especially with temperatures that will make it only into the 20s, only up to around 26 to 29 degrees across the metro zone and in your neighborhood. We're all in the same boat when it comes to this cold weather, with teens to start off this morning, only about 15 degrees by 8 a.m., by lunchtime, only 23, and high temperatures in the upper 20s. On the plus side, though, it does remain dry, just like we're seeing right now. But at 17 over at Metro Airport, even a breeze of just 8 miles per hour, making it feel like 7 bone-chilling degrees in terms of the wind chill over in Romulus. 18 is the current temperature for our friends over in Port Huron. Grab that extra blanket this morning. we got some snuggle weather in place in Ann Arbor with 13 degrees and only 14 right now in Monroe. Here are the winds. They're light in your neighborhood, too, only around 5 or 10 miles per hour. But that makes all the difference, folks. Look at those wind chills. Feel like it's only, it feels like it's only one single degree out in Jackson. Four is the current wind chill. That's how cold it feels on your skin if it's not protected over in Pontiac. Here's a look at uh, Storm Tracker 4. We are snow free for the most part. There are a couple of flurries that are fading away up around Marysville, St. Clair, and Port Huron, but really nothing to write home about. You have this disturbance here uh, across, across southern Canada that is going to make it closer to us as we go into tomorrow. But when it gets closer to us, it looks like we have a, a possibility of only about a half inch to an inch in, in parts of the area. That again is for Sunday. As you can see on the computer models, virtually nothing today. Fair clouds overhead, fair weather skies overhead, and nice looking uh, conditions for today. But clouds start to increase for tonight. Tomorrow afternoon, there might be a flurry or light snow shower that will be scattered about, but only providing only about a half inch to an inch or so out of the deal as we go into Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening. It's, uh, it's as we look into Monday and into Tuesday we have, that we have a chance of bigger snow that will be more shovelable, it looks like. Here's a look at, uh, here's a look at four, the current uh, computer models into Monday and Tuesday. See the patch of blue? This is from a separate storm system that will dump heavy amounts of snow, it looks like, from Monday afternoon through Monday night and Tuesday morning. We might have to get our shovels for this one because preliminarily it looks like this one could provide three to six inches of snow. That's right, three to six inches of snow. That again is from Monday into Tuesday. These numbers could change as that storm gets closer. We're still at least a few days away, but expect at least about three inches in those higher amounts closer to the Ohio border as that storm scoots to our south. So 28 for today, snow free. A little snow tomorrow, up to about an inch, with 31 degrees on Sunday. The chance of that bigger snow with highs only around freezing Monday night, Monday afternoon, I should say, into Tuesday morning, and then sunnier, but still remaining cold by the middle and end of next week. That is a look at your weather forecast. Back over to you.